over today is creating a user and command prompt. The first thing you're going to want to do is open command prompt. And you have to be on an administrator user or have administrator credentials to complete this. So we're going to hit the Windows key. And um, I'm going to pull up the Windows 10 start menu. If you just type CMD, uh, this also works on Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1. If you type CMD like command down here, it'll bring up command prompt. What we want to do is click on run as administrator. Um, if yours looks a little different and you don't see this, you'll right click on command prompt and go to run as administrator. And it's going to bring this up here saying uh, it's trying to make changes to your computer because it's running as an administrator. Click yes. Now we have an administrative command prompt. So we're going to go through all the functions for creating a user, changing their display name, um, deleting a user, changing a password, all that kind of thing. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a user. The command is net user and then the username. Now, if the username has no spaces in it, then you don't need to use quotation marks. But if the username is going to have a space, like it's their first and last name, you would have to use quotations. So for the example, uh, we'll, we'll do one both ways. So uh, we'll do my name. We'll just create a user called Raymond and we'll make the password howdy. So net user is to bring up the net user <coughs> um, console more or less. The next part is going to be your username. The next part is the password. And this is why it's important if you have uh, a full name in there to use quotation marks. So we'll also see your last name is the password. So net user, then the username, then the password, then slash add. And it's all separated by spaces. Command completed success successfully. And if we look in here, this is computer management. This only exists in the pro versions of Windows. Um, in Windows Home, this this uh, computer management prompt can't be gotten to with the with the local users and groups. But if we refresh it, we can see Raymond was created. Where this comes in handy is um, a couple things. One, uh, users really like to see their name on their computer. Um, when they log in, they like to see the first name and last name. Sometimes you'll have uh, people with, we'll say, the same last name, uh, first letter, first name. Um, so differentiating like that helps as well. It really depends on how you have things organized. But uh, it also helps the IT because when they have to get on a computer, um, it's, it's really cut and dry at that point if uh who, whose computer you're on and versus first initial last name uh, having the first name is nice so if i want to add raymond uh if i want to add a so if i want to add a last name to raymond what i do is i go in here and i say net user uh raymond like this uh, so we've selected the user. Now we're going to do slash full name colon and don't do a space here. And then uh, quotation marks and then how we want it to appear. Maybe the guy's name's Raymond, but he goes by Ray. And maybe there's another Raymond in the company. So you can go like this full name Ray. Um, or you could alternatively, if you want to do a first and last name, you could do like Raymond Beckham. But we're going to do Ray. All right, I'm going to hit enter. There we go. Now in here, we should show Raymond, full name Ray. Perfect. So when they go to log in, their user will show as Ray. So that's how you do that. Now, um, if you want to use command prompt to delete a user, it's also pretty simple. Same basic technique, uh, just a different switch at the end. So net user Raymond, and even though we give it a full name of Ray, you still have to call on the username. That's really important. 
If you try to do Ray, it's not going to know what it is because that's a display name, not a username. So, and it's not case sensitive for the username. It is when you create it in terms of that's how it'll display, but in terms of selecting it, it's not. You see, you do net user Raymond slash delete. You could do full delete. You could do DEL, that works too. Completed success successfully. If we go here, refresh it, Raymond's gone. Let's add another one. Net user Sally, we'll give her a password of password slash add. She's been created, perfect. So now what we need to do is we're gonna give Sally a full name. Net user, I'll show you just I'll just show you that it doesn't matter if it's capital or not. And when you're putting in the full name uh, switch, you don't need to you know invoke the password. So net user Sally slash full name Sally Jenkins let's see Sally Sally Jenkins and so as you see we created it Sally all lowercase so the user shows us all lowercase now when we put in the full name we use capital S capital J copied right over so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let me go through changing a password it's really simple in uh, command prompt net user sally um what do we want our password to be let's try dogs rule that's it doesn't require a switch nothing we're just calling the net user function with the username sally and we're replacing the password that used to be there with dogs rule you don't even have to know the old password Alrighty. And then we are going to go net user Sally delete. So Sally's gone. That's how you create users in command prompt. That's how you uh, give them full display names in command prompt. Um, there's two other cool things in here that I should show you uh, that I prefer to do. Um, we're gonna create one more net user uh, James, sure. I'm going to leave it blank. Uh, that didn't work. I have to do add after it. I'm going to leave the password section blank. That means he has no password. So James has no password right now, but he has a user. Now, if I wanted to set his user as an administrator, which is something you have to do many times, the um, command for that is net local group administrators has to have the s on the end administrators it's part of the administrators group uh, and then we're going to say james slash add so that's going to add james to the local group administrators has to be in that order can't get wonky with it um, another one i like to do is let's say james had a password uh, let's give him a password of pass. So, and let's say we don't want passwords to expire because sometimes depending on the version of Windows and when it was installed and everything else, it'll have a password expiration policy set. Um, let's say we want the computer to not have any password expiration. We would type, type WMIC user account. Now here you could you could specify the user account, but we're going to do all of them. So user account set password expires equals false. And you can see it's going to do every account in the computer. Yeah, just a couple extra little tools there. All right. Net user, if you type it by itself, it shows you the users that are currently on the PC. So we'll do James, delete, get James out of there. And there we go. You guys have a good day. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the right